anyone from the participants can you guess the name of the place new, new temple Ampere. yes i can it's a kailash temple in elora there we go thank you anand yes. <laughs> that's a correct answer people in canada knows but not in india oh, that's interesting <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Dooth Sagar Falls, Goa. Anand, let Anand Dars also give some chance. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's a correct answer. Dooth Sagar, yes. Anyone else? Sharvari, Arun, Nagesh, please. Heman. Anand, please go ahead and tell. Somewhere in Italy. <laughs> Somewhere in Italy? No. Uh, um, this is yeah. outside India. Uh, Try to uh, guess. Yeah. This is in the Mediterranean. Is, uh, that is Cyprus, correct. Nicosia or Craig Isle in the Craig. Maybe. Yeah, that is correct. Vijay, you are talking on mute. Uh, this uh, is in Santorini, Greece. I'm just amazed by the knowledge. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> and I our need, very uh, own. Yes, Jaipur. This Hawaii we go. Hawaii <laughs> Correct. That's right, Monica. Hawaii Mahal. All right. Last but not the least, we Italy. have seen this Venice. in many Italy. Italy. Venice. 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 Yeah. Kala of Venice. Venice. Yeah. There we go. So, did you have some fun? Was it a little work for your brain? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. So with this, you know, this freshness which we got after looking at these beautiful pictures, let's get started with the presentation, with today's presentation. Rashmi, over to you. Okay. So today we are going to talk about our icebreakers. Let's have some fun. This is our today's topic. Uh, today, me, Rashmi, and uh, with my co-host, Harsha, will be presenting this presentation today. Uh, let's quickly give our introduction. Uh, let me start with my first. Uh, I'm Rashmi Mantri. I'm uh, based in Toronto, Canada. I'm a Scrum Master at TD. Uh, you can say I have total eight years of experience in IT industry. And uh, prior to working with TD, I was with uh, HSBC Software Development in Hyderabad. Mm, that's a pretty short introduction about me. Over to you, Harsha. Thank you, Rashmi. Uh, all right, uh, I'm Harsha Kavarkar, and I have more than 18 years of IT experience and working at the Storm Master for more than eight years by now. And uh, I like to, you know, uh, get to know more and more agile concepts and experiment with them and share with you all that's all about me thank you okay so today's session is all about fun and uh, did you see the image on a screen did you ever reach that scenario that situation uh in today's especially world? yeah especially in the virtual world yes Yes. Anyone, yes. have you ever felt like this, that you know, that you're getting bored, you're not getting along with the presenter, or uh, you've been forced to attend some meeting, which <laughs> you're not really sure yeah, of Yeah, definitely, definitely this has happened. Yeah. Especially during the inductions happen, right? and all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have this feeling. <laughs> I, I can and, actually uh, correlate with the last image. Where, people, where that girl is sleeping, girl. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, yeah. especially in, uh, yeah. about you are then, right? With a small baby at home and with the sleepless nights. <laughs> yeah. So, do you want to bring in some excitement in the team? Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course yeah? yes. Yes. Is this something? How you would like to imagine your meetings to be as a participant or as a host as well? Right. Yeah, so we are right. trying to yes. achieve from the first picture what we have seen to this picture where everybody is engaged, everybody is focused, everybody is open to their ideas, where they can share, where they feel comfortable, where they feel connected, they linked, right? So we are going some going to share with you some tips and tricks from where you can reach to this situation as compared to the earlier picture, okay? Where the whole together team, we are working together and we are trying to achieve our goal and set reach our goal. 
you know, the, the one thing that strikes uh, very clearly about mm-hmm. this picture versus the previous picture. The previous picture, I could not make any eye contact. But in this, yeah, part, right. I, I it's like the contact. posture, right? The body language, like uh, here, the body Every, language is, is like everyone more. Everyone is active. looking at me. You know, it's so so pleasing to see that everybody is fixing their attention. Exactly. Right. You. Yeah, and when do we have such kind of a body language when everyone is so involved and people are involved when they feel safe, right? More than uh, being interested, it is very much about the psychological safety. When people feel safe, when people feel that their opinions are being valued, they are always more involved in the meeting. So there comes to this topic of you know how to break how to you know break the ice cubes in which the people are in their from their mundane life from the stress life and you know get into like more active mode how can we motivate them quickly you know the word quickly is very important here because icebreakers can be done you know at the beginning of every session to quickly get into that mode where team can you know get to explore the space you know explore that classroom virtual classroom space because team, uh, it's very important that we give our team members or the participants a no risk zone where you know they feel their that you know their opinions are being valued, and uh, humans are social people, right? Because of pandemic, we are been forced to work from home, and uh, but. Otherwise, like when we were we used to go to offices, right, we would like, you know, greet people, meet people, you know, before the meeting, you know, till the time the meetings have been started, we would chit chat with people or, you know, we meet people in the parking lots, in the corridors, uh, in the uh, elevators, anywhere, right, we would have the lunch breaks, coffee breaks. So we always used to have these social check-ins. So we are using icebreakers these days to bring in that social component in the in the in the culture of uh, meetings as well as our day in day out, and it also gives us an opportunity for people in the beginning of, beginning of meeting to connect with each other because the more connected team members are more willing to interact with each other because it is not only the connection of a uh, uh, organizer of that meeting, uh, like a host to participant um, connection, it, there has to be a connection in between all the participants as well, right? For the success of that meeting. Uh, does it clicks? Uh, uh, are you able to follow what I'm trying to explain here? Yeah, yes, very much. Yeah. Very much. All right, yeah, thank you. Um, moving on to the next slide. We will have a short puzzle, okay? As we also want to be motivated in this meeting, right? It's why only <laughs> in the office meetings. So let's scratch our brains. Can someone help in order to equate this equation, this equation of these three slashes, what we can put, how we can equate this equation? I haven't set a timer, but uh, give it a try. Again, it is a safe zone. Please add your answers in the group chat, chat window. And uh, we can add only numbers or we can add symbols also. Anything is allowed. The, the equation looks should look logically. Uh, it should match. The answer yeah, I want should to put three them. slashes. So we can put one into three into three. One. One X three X three. One and then three and three. It's it's a divide sign. Um, I can make it multiplication, so, correct? If I put another slash, that's what I asked. You say only yeah, numbers. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's correct. That's correct. 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 Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? And yeah, absolutely. Any other answers? Uh, Rashmi, are you able to see the chat window? Yes, I am able to. Yes. Yeah, that is also correct. Uh, thanks for uh, the perspective. Uh, Vijay, yeah, anyone sure. else wants to try? All right, here comes the answer. So, there you are, know, uh, there are so many answers on the chat. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, there are so many. 
yeah yeah um, everybody is right <laughs> that equals to nine but yeah. there is one more solution that simply yeah, try to rearrange <laughs> yeah but this is just for a fun you know not for the actual mathematical <laughs> thing but really appreciate all the answers in the chat group thank you very much all right one more again now we have got this as the answer in the previous question right how would like to match this equation this is but sim bit simpler anyone who would like to try or you can say it out you know you did not have uh, the answers only in the chat window you can even uh, say it out loudly that is perfectly all right We can just uh, rotate six to be nine. Rotate six to be nine. Wow, good job, Anand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could also be one uh, answer. And uh, or, yeah, yeah, good thinking. And uh, we can also have uh, right. number S in the beginning. Right. Correct. So Monica, Hiren, Komal, everybody got in the chat. Correct. Hemant. Wow. You all awesome. are right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I cannot send the reaction here, uh, but if I could, then, you know, kudos to all of you. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, let's have, you know, uh, as we all uh, are, you know, new to each other, I would really appreciate if you could uh, introduce yourself uh, and we can have this small icebreaker where uh, we can, you know, enter our uh, opinions and, uh, yeah, you know, small yes, info about yourself. I'm, yes. I'm adding it in the chat window. So Harsha will be sharing a link with you all. So you just have to click on that. And from there, you can uh, enter your answers, enter your little introduction, location, where you are joining from, city and country, uh, favorite movie, book, pastime, anything would you would like to share about yourself. And of course, food, everybody likes food. So feel free to share what's, what's your favorite food. Let's know a little bit more about each other. Uh, Asha, did you put the link in the chat? Uh, give me a second, Rashmi. I am having a difficulty, some difficulty in reaching out to chat window here. All right, let's do one thing. Um, instead of adding it, let's let's have it online. Like you know, um, anybody who would like to uh, go in, go and you know volunteer regarding your location, your favorite movie. Yeah, I'll go to Harsha. This is Diva here. Hey, Diva. Sorry, I'm not, usually I switch on videos. Not in a great mode today. Sorry. No worries. So, no worries. Yeah, so location, I'm in Chennai, uh, part of South India. Mm -hmm. And uh, favorite movie I like, love today. One of my, one of the Tamil mm -hmm. movies in the 90s. <laughs> so, and the book, I would say it's something I read, it's called Second World War, that, that mm -hmm. opened a lot of my eyes about Second World War and history, history book and pastime, uh, well, hang out with friends. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Thank yeah. you. That's great to know about you. Yeah. Favorite, you food, food. Yeah. favorite food, it changes daily, but uh, I, I, I'm very open. I have friends across the world, across India, across everywhere. So I enjoy whatever comes on the way. My my recent one is I would say Avil milk, which is famous in Kerala. I think I I found mm -hmm. some somewhere nearby. So Avil milk, <laughs> they call it as. Wow, oh, wow, oh, sounds sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. They put a lot of Avil, banana, nuts, something, something mm -hmm. they give like a faluda. <laughs> Oh, something, awesome. something to try out. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Really yeah. appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. Thanks, Asha. Thank you. It's nice. All so, right. Anyone else? Yeah. Ashtai. Vijay, why don't you go? Yeah. Uh, you can also share your uh, link on the WhatsApp to me and then I can put it on chat. 
Yes. If you want to do so, yeah. I'll do that, yeah. I think, yeah, main course. People have already put. People have already put it. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yes, Hiren has also shared. Vijay but has it also was manually typed. That. I don't know whether it is working or not. Maybe somebody can validate the URL is correct or not. Okay. Sorry, the link is not working. Okay. At least for no, me. I, I, I'll help you. Yeah. All right. But till the time, uh, Vijay, why, why don't you share something about yourself? Oh, yes. So, location that I like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the location I like, uh, it's Dhanush Kodi uh, near Rameshwaram. Yeah, it's really serene beach. I have never seen uh, ever uh, in my lifetime. This best favorite movie uh, is definitely my childhood favorite is Dilwale Dulaniya Le Jayenge. Seen it 23 times in theater. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, Vijay the... saw it first when he was in school. Then Vijay saw it next when he was in college. Then saw it next when he got his first job. Next. Kiran, we are not able to hear you fully. You are very feeble. Oh, my bad. Sorry for that, Vijay. What I say that Vijay saw this movie first when he was in school, then he saw this next when he was in college. Third time <laughs> he saw when, when he finished his college, and fourth time he when he got engaged, like that, right? How many times, Vijay, did you say? Uh, 23, time, 23 times in theater. Times. In, in, theater. in theater. In theater. Really? You counted it? Oh, my yes. God. <laughs> I paid for it. So I counted it. Definitely. And that is where I met also Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Uh, because I, yeah, I wanted to see them and hence I went again and again. And I, I got to meet them. Yeah. Uh, anyways, book. Uh, yeah, there are quite a few. Uh, choosing one is, I don't know. Favorite pastime is definitely, uh, you know, running, jogging, playing with friends. And sometimes watching web series. Yeah. And... What else? The food. Food, yeah. Oh, food. There are quite a few, but I like chicken chili and in veg, I like samosas. That's interesting. It was any time with tea. <laughs> yes. All right. Anyone? Dishtia? Can I go? This is Arun here. Can I go? Yes, Arun. Why not? Oh, you Arun. can. Everybody can. You know, here we are trying mm -hmm. to know, know each other. So, yes. Yeah. You can. Yeah, people call me Arun because that's my name. Right now, I'm in the US, but my I'm based out in Chennai uh, in the Poema stretch. To answer some of the thing, what you were asking, uh, my favorite place definitely the home where where I live, where I stay in the Chennai Poema stretch. The favorite book is I'm a I'm a voracious reader. Currently, in fact, currently I'm reading three books in parallel. The my favorite book, if you ask me, The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. In fact, I'm reading that for the fourth time. My favorite movie, I like James Cameron thinking the way how he thinks. Any movie, Titanic, those are my favorite list. And my favorite part is, I, I like to spend time with nature. If I get a chance, I just go and sit with the nature, try to observe what's, what the nature, nature teaches. And nature is one of my mentor. That's something I try to implement in my life. But otherwise, I like to keep things simple, straight, easy. Um, and I, I love living. That's pretty much about me. That's great. That's great. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. And I really appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. And four books at a time. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and uh, uh, the one thing I was I was reading and then the next is like, mm -hmm. think like JKT. So I, 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 love, I love reading. Uh, just be two or three hours. I, I just go. I immerse myself in reading. All right. That's yeah. Good. Thanks. That's thanks. Great. great to know right. about you. Yeah. Anyone else would like to go next? I think the link is working now. We can now? put in the answers. Yeah, the link is working now. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So this is like just a fun activity, you know, we can have so that uh, we can get to know people and people can go to know each other, basically, you know, the more we know each other, it's easier for us to talk to people, right? And the lesser we know them, we keep on thinking what to talk and at a time better stay quiet and, you know, uh, concentrate on the topic at hand. 
in the presentation or in the meeting. All right, so thanks for this quick uh, round uh, for all the volunteers who participate. So why do we need these uh, icebreakers? You know, we have been living with, you know, without them since so long. No, why do we need it? So friends, have you attended the meeting where uh, there is a group discussion and a couple of team members keep talking all the time and rest keep just waiting for their turn? Or, you know, sometimes they just feel like, okay, let it be, you know, these people will certainly cover what I want to say. Sometimes where, you know, the introverts are just sitting there quietly and, you know, their, their opinions are like not uh, come forward and they are not being valued. Have you ever come across this situation? And be, when I say introvert, you know, everyone is introvert in some situation and extrovert in some situation. You know, we are like the combination of that. Like if, if, if I am in a familiar situation, in the familiar group, I talk more. But when I go to any strange uh, mob, right, any strange group, that time I have a tendency to, you know, uh, just to listen, you know, just to uh, stay quiet, thinking that uh, whether there are times when I'm not sure whether I should be like speaking. Uh, it does it has it this ever happened to you that you know where you feel like you know uh, that okay too much is going on I'm not sure whether I should be talking or not. Yeah, absolutely, Any, Harsha. It, yeah, it does yeah, happen. There, there have been, there have been many an instances here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is why we need these icebreakers because um, what happens, the people who do not talk in the beginning of the meeting, we give them an unspoken permission not to talk throughout the meeting. You know, it's like, okay, but if you do not talk. So be, that's why, you know, when we do this, uh, such kind of icebreaker where everybody talks, where everybody writes down their opinion, you know, when they get to know that, you know, that my favorite movie is somebody's favorite movie too, then, you know, that gives us a little bit of happiness, openness, uh, that safe zone, which we were talking about in the earlier slides. All yeah. right. 100% agree with that, Asha. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, now we will be covering the benefits of icebreakers. Thank you, thank you, Harsha. Okay, now let's see what all things we can achieve once we do the icebreaker. It breaks down the awkwardness. Uh, when 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 the awkwardness is created, actually, is because we are at different location, we are different culture, different behavior. So it kinds of uh, makes a barrier to connect with each other, right? So it can be helpful for the people, as Harsha said, who are introvert, who are not willing to open their ideas. So that's one of the benefit of uh, having an icebreaker. Next, uh, icebreaker helps to relax and have fun. When you know people are relaxed, when uh, they would be likely to entertain their new ideas. They keep the flowing of thinking, critical thinking happens when they are relaxed and when they are having fun. So next, if you notice, uh, uh, people drifting off and looking around restlessly, looking down more frequently on their phone. Uh, so you, at, you, when you, that time you can say, it's the best time to take that icebreaker, yeah? chance to network with others. So uh, icebreaker, get them talking with the neighbors, which means they can create the channel of communication, either with the work related, non work related, or they may discover the ideas you're sharing in the presentation, they are a more able to engage with the presentation, they are getting what you are trying to uh, give them what you, they, you are saying in the presentation. So it's good for them. And the next. Okay. Positive atmosphere is created. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's created when people lower their barriers, their defense mechanism. So it's it's just good to ask everybody to cooperate and uh, try to be uh, involved. And uh, that environment will be more conductive to learning. So as soon as you create that positive, safe atmosphere, the people will be more able to learn, more able to communicate, and more able to do the teamwork together. So those are a few of the benefits which we have seen. 
Absolutely. Thank you, Rashmi, for the benefits. And um, again, there are like three pillars of the any icebreaker, which would be like, you know, conducting, it could be like quick or any planned session. And the three pillars are, you know, having fun. It has to be personal. You know, you need to be connect to each and every person sitting over there. And it has to be like relevant uh, to the uh, to the meeting or the workshop which has been uh, conducted or relevant to the people. Like if we are having the icebreaker with the, you know, youngsters or, you know, the kids, right? Then it has to be relevant to their age. Or if we are having it in the office, then, you know, it should be like relevant to that particular group. Uh, so that is like the basic and... Uh, Again, uh, so icebreakers, we can have, it need not be only in the meeting. Uh, it need not be like in a, a really large meeting where we have a lot of people. Icebreakers can be when you're meeting with someone, you know, on one-on-one -on -one basis. Like, you know, if you are meeting with someone, you're, if you're coaching somebody or just if you want to, you know, explain something to someone instead of directly jumping into topic, right? We can introduce ourselves if we are, meeting for the first time if we are not meeting for the first time still have some conversation you know talk about current events try to know their opinions you know try to ask around like you know more than just hi how are you and then the person says i am good we can also ask about their family you know what their where do they live what how how the things are going on I agree this would consume some time, but at least that person feel connected. That person is like more willing to give their opinion going forward in the time which you will be spending with that person in the meeting, which is following this icebreaker. And, you know, again, it is very important than directly jumping into topic, ask that person, you know, that uh, what is their expectation from this meeting, right? It should not be just the one way communication. And, you know, you can mention the weather because, you know, especially um, in North America and even in India also, right? The weather is changing so drastically, you know, it's not like as what we were expecting, like, you know, rains in Diwali and, you know, the temperatures are going down so low, right? Yeah, we just mentioned that this is a record breaking cold this time. And it bothers us, right? However, we try to be like nice and posh in offices, but when we wear that jacket at home while leaving to the office, yes, we do feel like, you know, that uncomfortness is there. And if that has been asked, we feel that, okay, someone cares about us. And, you know, that feeling is something which we are looking forward to, you know, during out of all the icebreakers. And again, once your casual topic is done, you know, something you can talk about the uh, presentation and continue with your discussion. Rashmi will cover that, you know, uh, if we are having the icebreakers uh, with the larger larger team. Uh, she, Rashmi, do you want to cover this? Yeah. So the uh, as Harsha said, it can be used for one-on-one -on -one as well as in the group presentation, like medium to large groups. Uh, for sure, in the larger group, there will be people will like of different uh, behaviors, different culture. So it will surely help us. So one of the idea how we can do in the group presentation is introduction, but with a twist. Uh, you can ask the people around your team, around your, the table uh, to give us an introduction and say something uh, which is unique about them, which is a little different, which is unusual, which is uh, uh, different about the, which makes them uh, different. So introduction, but with a twist. So, you know, uh, and maybe at the end, you can ask the people <laughs> if, they, if uh, they remember anything what the other person has said, right? So in that way, we can communicate uh, and break the ice. Another wonderful one of the idea is visionary. Uh, it's one of the game which we play very often. Uh, just to give a very quick introduction, visionary is a little bit like kind of dumb shalats, but in this, instead of acting, we will be drawing. So whatever the word is given to the member, that person cannot speak that word. That person can only draw on the uh, screen or on the board. And the other team has to guess that word. So nice game to play and have fun. Or you can do riddles. You can do quizzes. Uh, I have just shared uh, one, two riddles on the screen. Uh, like what is full of holes but still holds water? A sponge. 
what starts with t ends with t and has t in it a teapot yeah just google try to uh, go to the youtube try to go to the youtube uh, google you'll find a lot of riddles you can have word games uh, and uh, yeah uh, try to make the quiz for the team which will make them little fun and comfortable one more idea in the group presentation is string a story together uh, uh, what we do in this is uh, one person will start with uh, an opening line uh, for example today we are going to beach and the next team member has to can say anything which connects to that story okay uh, like uh, we are going towards the goa beach the next person will say uh, we have our tennis ball and the ball with us so and the stories flows on and let's see how where it goes where it takes to us and yeah. see the really different fun. opinion yeah. very tense yeah and we we'll, we we'll get to you know try to create a different atmosphere rather than being that awkward situation which i was telling telling before so that's one more idea uh, for a group presentation icebreaker uh, one word to describe him or herself yeah uh, instead of if we have very less time just if there are many lot of people in the presentation joining just try to tell only one word which describes them uniquely for example me if you ask me i would say can speak five languages right so try to everybody has you know uh, some or thing uh, different uh, every human has this one behavior which is different we all are unique everybody is unique so that would be one more uh, idea in the group presentation and uh, another is treasure hunting uh just yeah. try to find uh, in the room around a bottle or anything if you are in a virtual i would give you virtual ideas because that's more often nowadays uh try to bring in your old photo a penny from your pocket yeah. right <laughs> and rashmi i would like to share you know when uh, so earlier like you know when i was not used to of conducting uh, ice breakers in my meetings that time you know it was like a such a awkward thing for me to do because like it's like you know when we have all the agenda so you know why to get into this so it was like really very awkward for me and then treasure hunting was the first thing which i had tried and i was feeling so embarrassed in the beginning like oh my god will people connect to it you know what will they think and you know i was the first thing i said was like you know can somebody get a water bottle you know <laughs> or something they would like to drink and i was so surprised to you know see all the options which people came in <laughs> yeah the, you know yeah so uh, that that is like you know uh, that was when i got so encouraged you know uh, to see people's participation and in this it need not always be the host who is uh, calling out what needs to be uh, hunted but treasure needs to be hunted it could be on the round robin basis where you know all the participants can you know speak up what they want us to be hunted so you know that way uh, there is no pressure on the host to be you know to right. have all <laughs> to you know make sure that the all the fun is there and yeah, uh, yeah. and um, hiren would you like to share your experience with icebreaker as well <laughs> hiren has been my big support uh, when i had to conduct my first icebreaker session with my team yeah wonderful we would like to hear yeah yeah you. harsha thank you very much thanks uh, you know it, it is indeed very humbling to hear these kind words uh no we we, we were we were doing ice breakers before covid also it's not that yeah, uh, yeah. i remember forced us it only it only uh, uh, emphasized the need for breaking the ice more so because uh, this last one and a half years uh, were unprecedented for everyone and you can imagine that uh, there were new starters on the team and uh, these people they haven't had that opportunity to start their first day on the job in the office in the four walls of the office yeah. or in the virtual walls have have not seen their colleagues have not seen anyone else except maybe on camera <clears throat> so yes uh, ice breakers my my favorite ice breaker uh, has been uh, to start off with you know uh, describing yourself so pick up a letter which is which happens to be the first letter of your name so let's say my name hiren i i pick up the letter h i think we I lost your connection can you hear me yes now we can yes um, i'm sorry i'm i'm 
that's really bad of me <clears throat> so i can say you know i i can think of an adjective h starting with a so it could be anything it could be hungry it could be hilarious it could be handsome or anything and i just need to describe you know uh, myself with that and then that goes in round robin fashion so this really breaks the ice because you know we have seen some very funny descriptions people sometimes people not really not really able to describe themselves with that adjective and then that you know that uh, spins up their gray cells that they have to ha think about it you know out of the box and uh, some of some of the letters like someone's name starting with z now you know you can you can think of as zealous someone's name starting with j and then they can think of jealous <laughs> something like that you know there will be very funny instances yeah but uh, as humans you know uh, what what uh, clicks us is that connection so this is one great this is one great activity to connect because once the connection happens and everything else falls in place nicely absolutely thank you thank you uh, for sharing that information My really pleasure, Rasha, thank and, you vijay uh, hiren uh, and um, uh, just before we move on, move to our uh, next uh, ice breaker or energizer i would say uh, thanks everyone for filling in this uh, like you know uh, we have people from germany canada and uh, rameshwaram wow that is like awesome thing you know uh, from uk and Kerala, oh my God. And uh, some list of movies, you know. Uh, actually, uh, it's, it's really nice, you know, so that we can also go and check out some really good movies. And Yeah, I can add and, that yeah, to my wish next, list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This can be added to the wish list and all sorts of like awesome food which has been added, all veggies. Oh my God, somebody is really diet conscious here or maybe you know <laughs> yes, <it's> <laughs> dishes thank you thank you everyone really appreciate this thanks thanks everybody for filling in and uh our next next icebreaker is uh is the ball asks and let's see what the ball asks here all right so we are just trying to a little bit, you know, uh, show you different types of games, which you can do. We are just trying to have a little uh, interaction with you all today and have fun. All right. I would need some volunteers for this game. I have already filled in some, but could you please unmute yourself and call out your name for this uh, game? Anand here. I would like to Anand. volunteer. Okay, Anand, I have oh, already my... added you. Komal has been added. What about others? Yeah, Nandita, Jiva, Jiva, yeah. Jiva, yes, Jiva. I was going to type your name. <laughs> Who else? Rahul. Who else? Rahul. Monica, uh, Rahul. Rahul, Monica. What about you? Would you like to volunteer? Ditya, Ditya. Yeah. Okay. Vijay K. Okay. Awesome. Vijay K. Add Casey. Casey, all right. There we go. Add. Right, Ditya. Ditya, this is awesome. Thank you. All right, anyone? Last call. All right. Even when we start playing, you can add. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, you can just call out that you want to go next, and uh, we will go it from there. All right, let's see in the spin wheel who gets selected. I hope it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's spinning for a really long time. Casey, Casey, let's see. Wow, Casey. All, All right, let me spin the wheel. So Casey, are you ready? Please unmute yourself. If you were a pasta, what kind, which one would it, would you be and why? Casey, do you even like pasta? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Casey? Hi, hi, question? sorry, I was on mute, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yes. Uh, may, may we know your name, please? I'm Karupaya here. Okay, hey, hi, Karupaya. nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so Karupaya, uh, the, the picture is on the screen. Oh my God, I think. Mm-hmm. 
Karupaya, you have to describe the kind of pasta that you like. Yeah. Or you want me to change the question? Is my screen visible? Yes, yes visible. Asha, it's visible. Yeah. Very much. Do you want yes. to try a different one? Right. Yeah, try a different one. Okay. Let's go for another question. Sense. This is a sense in the sense, like, you know, like a, our senses, five senses, human senses, the taste, touch, eyesight. If you were one of the senses, which one would you like be? I give equal importance for everything. We cannot differentiate. Even if one sense is not functioning as expected, would we be able yeah, to? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but which yeah. is like your favorite? <laughs> Maybe yeah, pick one of them still. Yeah, yeah, no, no worries, no worries. So you yeah. all, so for Karopia, all senses are equally important, all right? Yeah, Let's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only one, no one sense that Karopia would not like is nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, let's see who can go next. Thank you. Thank no you. Thank you. Thanks for participating. Yeah, Rahul, Rahul, you are the next one. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's hear Rahul's opinion. Asha, maybe you can zoom in in the roller, actually. If you zoom in a little bit, I think maybe it's very easy to read. Vijay, I'm going to outsource this ice breaking to Harsha and Rashmi in all my projects. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm happy all to do right. so, Rahul. Rahul, if you were one of the pastas, yeah, type of pasta, better. which one? Which one would it be? No worries. I think uh, I would uh, be a white sauce pasta. Okay, and why? Pasta. I consider myself not much of a spicy uh, kind of a personality. Uh, much more on the Milder side. Oh my God! You live in India. You are from Maharashtra, and you do not like spicy. Oh my God! <laughs> that is something to oh think about. Oh my God, Harsha, you didn't know that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like Maharashtra is nice. famous for spicy food. No, but still, I like white sauce pastas, whether it's a spaghetti or anything. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, oh Rahul. Uh, no. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> All right, let's see what next question does the wheel ask. Rowlett, if you were animal, a oh my goodness, one would you be why? <laughs> uh, Any favorite animal? Tough question. Tough question. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, maybe animal cheetah. Cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean the speed, yeah, the like speed, Mahindra, yeah, yeah and, the, and the speed Why and not? the gesture, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you. Oh. Thank you. I think Harsha, uh, looking at the time, we th we can go to the next one. I love wonderful participation from everyone, and I know everybody wants to play more of this. <laughs> yes, I'm worried the session goes gonna end. <laughs> I think I lost the connection with Harsha. Harsha, can you hear me? Harsha, we can't hear you. Let me quickly message. Yeah. Maybe she went to buy pasta. All right. I have just a <laughs> yeah. question and I'm reconnecting. Okay. Sorry for inconvenience. I am reconnecting right now. Okay. There we go. Uh, give me a second, please. Sure. No worries, Sasha. We, we all got a zest of it, right? How fun and uh, incredible it can be, whether it's uh, 
one on one group small group familiar people even if we are familiar people we can have and create more little lift up atmosphere when we have some such ice breakers in the starting in the middle whenever you feel comfortable try to be little relevant to your audience so can yeah. can create wonders in our team once the team is connected and i'm i'm sure the team effort will come up yeah and you'll see the benefits in the long time not not that will not be just for the short duration you'll see how team that is going together well and that's how they can achieve the goal that our results what we are trying and hey guys i i heard somebody saying that this session is going to end yeah definitely but <laughs> if you want to have it again definitely we can have the next one and i think rashmi you would be happy to conduct it right yes definitely vijay <laughs> sure Great, Vijay. I'm gonna join tuition with them. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think I just joined and missed all the essence. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Priya. It it was real good fun. I mean, yeah. Right from I beginning. I do like to conduct uh, some interesting. Uh, Uh, what a uh, refresh uh, retro sessions to the wow. story cubes and all i do it uh, for my team it was really great awesome and that would uh, break the ceiling right always to come up yeah yeah let let's have yeah. you join next time again yeah 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 of course yeah just I'll just join. get in touch yeah sure Definitely. yes yeah you can even see the recording priya and yeah. i am sure you can we will share the different links and you can see the different options which you can use in your thank retrospective you. no problem yeah thank you and uh, sorry for inconvenience what happened but my i lost all the connections my router uh, internet got router got restarted and uh, Here I am back, and uh, thank you, Rashmi, for covering up. And uh, yeah. there was only one last slide remaining, and uh, that is. <laughs> and and Harsha, happy to know that router doesn't get restarted only in India. It also happens somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, the, the 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 only point, you know, as we are on the ending note, which I would like to mention is that, uh, however, share my screen, uh, Harsha. The last slide. You could share the last slide. Uh, sure, I'll I'll share my screen. Harsha, we got. You are tempted uh, to go and have a pasta in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, am I the co-host? Yeah. Can I share? You you can share. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The the only thing which motivated me to conduct this session is you know the the amount in which this helped me a lot. You know when I had joined a team where the entire team was already been formed and I was a new person there, it was very difficult to connect with all the team members to gain their trust, right? And at that time, uh, when I started these icebreaker sessions, I just felt so much of uh, what do you say? So much of improved, uh, uh, you know, improvements in trust, basically. And this is not a one-time activity. So you know, I really urge you to you know go ahead, go out of the box, and try out as many icebreakers as possible. It need not be like in kind of some kind of a formal meeting, even in kind of simple meeting where. there are two minutes and you're waiting for people just share out some you know riddles some uh, uh, some you know so we have this uh, uh, vodafone zuzus right uh, some anything you can share basically you know try explore your creativity and this process takes time you know getting the trust of people it takes time it might happen that you know first time you might get you know 80% of participation getting to 100% participation it takes time but i assure you once you start this process people will really look forward to attend your meeting and i guarantee that this is what is my experience and eventually the trust is been built and uh, again that stress will not be on you the more and more people will jump in in order to conduct these sessions and uh, give it a try and in the next slide if if you can see could you please go to next slide rashmi sure the trust and the happiness index of the 
entire team keeps on just building and increasing and you know is the terms of productivity you will find um, so much of you know exponential growth in that so connect with me on linkedin or even you know uh, by uh, any means in person if you are here in toronto canada and um, share uh, you know in upcoming sessions in upcoming saturday sessions also i generally attend these sessions share with me you know how this um, ice breaking help you i really appreciate you you know uh, doing this and sharing this you can reach out to me for ideas if you google there are so many like already been there present so yeah looking forward to more and more participation and trying to benefit you uh, as much as possible thank you thanks everyone thank you so much everyone that's all we have for today uh, i see oh, a sure. hand raised jiva you want to say something yes yes a quick uh, thing i'm saying it's really great really great no words uh, rashmi and harsha great just want to ask a couple of questions one is uh, see uh, each personality is different right sometimes I'm, yeah. I'm, we are not that comfortable to initiate as well right so even in person so it takes some time right like a stage speaker yeah. or or a little bit of uh, you know we we have to first come out of our uh, you know kind of a cool zone we need to enter right so how, so i hope you understand so uh, uh honestly uh, i'm seeing like a goddess two goddess uh, today <laughs> it's not oh, thank you it, it's not see this 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 was a pain for me most of the time you know uh, i sometimes get into so formal discussions like a little bit of informal stuff for me and uh, yeah so my question is usually is it is it uh, i mean did you get into the cool zone when you initiate this or it takes time for us no also? no it takes time it takes time it takes trust time. me when i was having my uh, first icebreaker session i was so nervous oh my god i remember <laughs> calling up kiran the previous night and i have been preparing for weeks and you know i had this list of all the icebreakers but i wasn't sure which one to choose and okay. i had chosen this treasure hunting and i was thinking like oh my god what people will think i was thinking that people will think this is so childish and why are we even doing that okay so trust me even uh, it is such a awkward thing to do for the audience as well as for the the host as well trust me yeah. but once yeah. you start you know yeah. and think about it ziva as as a mentality you know see ziva uh if you go if you're in office if you're in a formal conversation yeah, you're you're master of your topic right why does ziva needs to talk to anybody right ziva knows what he needs to talk right ziva if he talks to his neighboring person it's okay even if he doesn't talk doesn't matter he knows the meeting will he will rock in the meeting but when any human being is been presented with a challenge then see what happens then we get nervous we start to look around you know for help right yeah. when yeah. any help yeah. is been uh, whenever we are like you know if there is riddle it immediately takes you out of your comfort zone and puts you in that question mark zone and you know that is the point when most of the friendships happen tell me is it true or not right yes yes harsha yeah yeah, yeah. great yeah this is really great this is what is my experience like you know whenever uh, whenever we are into problem then we want everyone to be our friend and when we are not in a problem we are so formal like you know so uh, breaking ice requires a situation you know and ice breakers create that situation which helps people to break their ice come out of their shell come out their comfort zone and to be nice to people because you know we are social social animals after all yeah great harsha opening uh, thank you so yeah. much yeah thank you give it a try ji i was really looking forward to you know uh, yeah definitely definitely uh, i was i was eagerly looking for such things and today is a great day for me thanks to vijay thanks to hiran everyone thanks for no, everyone. It's, yeah. no great. It's, thanks it's everyone awesome. thanks for attending Thank you, thank you, Rashmi. You know, it was a very interesting session. Actually, usually on any session I have, I have attended previously, correct? Basically, uh, any agile related trainings we do ice breakers, but there will be only one. Yeah. But I think today we got the opportunity to see multiple uh, ice breakers. 
even though yeah. it is a small topic but you have taken that topic and uh, given more most of the details so it was very interesting yeah. you made everybody engaged that's uh, that's the key of any discussion thank you thank you thank you vijay this helps so yeah, much and, i try uh, i try one one more time you know yeah, canada yeah, sure. canada has sure. uh, canada has lot many ice breakers no wonder you know india is also <laughs> india is also having many ice breakers because we are satirical scientific uh, base in antarctica so we also need ice breakers you know so we <laughs> order from canada <laughs> these ice breakers absolutely. will help to bring the people to the context basically you can't just start the topic immediately right that's why uh, some relevant ice breakers are happening so like i was attending a demo day like with organization level multiple people are coming and giving demo but that particular event is for four five hours so they created a ice breaker they already created a website uh, you need to take a selfie and uh, just uh, upload in the site uh, so everybody <laughs> take a phone uh, scan the qr code they take a selfie with their colleagues uh, everybody mm-hmm. from different well like actually they are from india singapore uk yeah. everywhere so they are just sharing within the meeting room they are in a different place home working from home working from office we are meeting so that was one and then they did uh, another one is like they asked them to upload uh, some fun event what they have done maybe cycling yeah. or hobby something like that so they made to bring everybody energy actually and then they started the demo so you yeah. sometimes when the physical meeting correct right, uh, people like if it is a 4 hours 8 hours training what they do is they make everybody stand up and they ask us to ask them to walk so this kind of event will help to bring the energy back so nobody exactly. will be tired yeah so yeah. so uh, these are all the ideas and uh, yeah i have seen very good ideas today thanks maybe arsha if you found any website or something you can share in the whatsapp group so we can again explore absolutely. more absolutely yeah. i have yeah. so when i had i had started this activity i had only you know uh, only treasure hunting was on my mind and slowly when i got into it now i have like so many that you know it can be like covered yeah. for a year also <laughs> yeah in uh, agile trainings what they are doing uh, usually they uh, split it into multiple small teams like breakout rooms correct when you are attending virtually so yeah. in the breakout room they will give you a topic and uh, within the four five members they will discuss each other so they get connected so they will be uh, ju- the journey will be there correct right? that four five members will yeah. be continue doing other activities so they bring that uh, repo there yeah that's exactly. another uh, one of the ice breaker i have seen and another agile a uh, training they just ask